All of us we have dead batteries or zombie batteries at home. Those batteries are with 1.2 volts max and they don't work with most devices, but this homemade zombie flashlight work from 0.9 volts up to 1.5 volts AA, AAA or any 1.5 volt battery. Some of you maybe know this chip, it's 5252F and mostly is used in solar garden lamps that work on rechargeable 1.2 volts. Inside this chip there is built-in booster oscillator for powering up the LEDs and solar controller for charging the battery. In this project zombie flashlight I am using 5252 chip that I got from eBay, I bought 100 pieces for $9, link below the video. Next you need is coil inductor from 100 up to 300 millihenries. You choose the brightest of LEDs by adding different values of inductor. As you can see the chip is working only with one inductor. Hook up the LEDs, power up the circuit and light is produced from dead zombie batteries. In next couple of seconds watch how I assemble all parts. It's amazing mini flashlight that work with one zombie battery. I hope you like today's project, if so, please share and subscribe. Hello Hectoovers, today electronic gadget will be to test any remote control does it work and circuit is made from couple basic components like 2 amp pen transistors, LED, a buzzer, receiver diode and 3 resistors. 
as you can see on schematic with 2 n pen transistor I am making Darlington transistor and from collector side are connected the LED and buzzer emitter is connected on ground also 10 kilohm resistor is soldered from ground to receiver diode through 1 kilohm resistor on positive wire of 9 volt battery base of Darlington transistor is connected between the receiver diode and 10 kilohm resistor You can test any remote control that works with infrared. 